Hi everyone, alongside Mike Trosel, I'm Dave Giancola. Welcome back in for another US Open Classic finish. Now the first US Open was played all the way back in 1895, but it took until 2015 for the championship to make its way to the Pacific Northwest when it was played at Chambers Bay in University Place, Washington. Now after 54 holes, we had it all. It was a packed leaderboard with four big name players tied at the top. We had Dustin Johnson, Jordan Spieth, Jason Day, and Brandon Grace all at four under. Yeah, Dave, and if that wasn't good enough, Sunday had a little bit of everything. Jason Day struggling to overcome a bout with vertigo, Dustin Johnson sprinting out to an early lead in his quest for his first major, Jordan Spieth looking to win the first two majors of the year, and Roy McIlroy and Louis Oosthuizen making charges to get in contention. Let's pick up the action early on the back nine. Now back at the tee. I'd say that one's probably pretty safe, Greg. How do you think? <laughs> Not sure it's round still, but that was just blistered. 541 yards today, but he's not going to have much more. Brandon Grace now. For a share of the lead from 17 feet. Big swinger to the right. See how much of the left hand edge he catches. Hard to believe gravity doesn't take over and just pull that right down in. Good putt there, quick putt. Steve, I'll tell you what, the greens are starting to really speed up. You can just see the golf course changing from the morning to the late afternoon. Jason Day back on the tee. Woo! A good strike. Greg, you mentioned the other day that the greens, the speed changed about mid-afternoon. This is about that time of day. Yeah, absolutely, Steve. I've, I've noted that uh, from Monday, Tuesday, all the way through, actually around 2, 3, 3 o'clock, 3.30, something like that. They. You saw the greens pick up an extra foot, maybe a foot and a half of speed, depending on the, the location of the green. Oh, Brandon Grace, Forest Bar. Oh, good roll. <laughs> so we go to a break. Down to the final nine of the U.S. Open. Day's second now at 11. 191 yards. a seven iron for Jason. Good swing, nice aggressive play. Now Dustin Johnson. With one less, he has an eight iron. 183 yards there. Swinging in such control today. Hang on. of where it's going to go. Greg, this will filter all the way down to the bottom, most likely. It's going to hang up. <laughs> you know, Very yeah. lucky. We've seen that ball earlier in the week go all the way down. You know, just little things around the golf that may help you get over the edge, right? 12-T now. Brandon Grace, three wood. Fly, fly, fly! Landed 
right by Hull. This is back where Snedeker had his long eagle putt from. This may yeah, be a little closer yeah. to Brands. Tough to negotiate, too. Speaking of Snedeker, this is over on the 14th hole, and this is for par. Drove in trouble. Oh! What the heck? Never seen anything like that on the green before. Back on the 12th, Jordan Spieth. Good shape for his right to left. Sit down, ball. Down. Down flat. Easy. Easy. Low hooking three woods don't sit down easy, easy but. That's what Lee Trevino used to say. Brad Wright, you can't talk to a hook. That's for sure. He's showing Grace the line there. Join golfers everywhere across the country to play golf on Play Nine Day, July 29th. Visit www.usga.org slash play nine to learn more. On this glorious day in the Pacific Northwest, aerial coverage provided by Goodyear Tires for superior performance where your drive takes you. Goodyear, more driven. That's us. Joe and Greg in the 18th Tower, Brad Faxon, Steve Flesh. And then our whole announcers, Holly Saunders, a reporter, David Fay here in the 18th Tower, our rules analyst, Kurt and Tom in the studio. As we pick up the play of Dustin Johnson. Shot do you anticipate DJ is going to use here, Corey? Well, I'm anticipating the putter. He's got it in his hand. He pulled it out right away. There was no indecision, which I love to see. So just make a decision when you're under a little bit of pressure and stick with it. Corey, that sprinkle head there and the right, right under his bill caps, not, not affecting this putter? No, it should go right of it. It should be no problem. I don't think you want to be that frisky with it. That's a tough putt coming back. Yeah, it was 65 feet there up the hill. Sometimes you're so conscious of hitting it so hard, you get a little too aggressive. Now Snedeker, 14. This is his long putt for bogey, 27 feet. That double bogey will practically eliminate any chance he has of winning. This was his par putt. That's unbelievable. Looks like there was a stake in the ground. It didn't look like a sprinkler head. It's hard to hard to know what that was. Back to day. Now Jason Day from just under 11 feet back up the hill. Steve, I think this putt's going to just drift a fraction right. There's not much in it. This is one of those putts you love to have. Probably got a little bit of a good read from Dustin's attempt. Good solid effort. Over to 12 now. Speed Siegel putt. And boy, it could go two ways here, maybe. And Brad, I've got my tele well, a little bit late now, but uh, Get in the hole! That's an unbelievable touch. That may be the best putt you've seen all day from back there. Brad. Well, you know, Snedeker, who may be one of the best putters in the world, had the same putt he hit it 20 feet by. Spieth will tap that in for Birdie to tie for the lead. Maybe go ahead now. Well, I've got to, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, listen, that putt on 10, 
this may be the most important part Dustin's hit all week. This now from six feet. Tough one to hit hard enough again. I think he got fooled by that one. I think he had a very good putt and it just broke a little more left than he thought. You see there, Brandon Grace has just jumped up to five under par for a share of the lead. This was for Eagle. Well, he was on a similar line. This guy is not going away. Hitting it well, putting it well. He looks comfortable. Well, here's the walk. Up and over the hill for Dustin and Jason. Jay, go. 12 holes to the easiest hole all week and a chance to gain the most strokes on the field. And these two players will easily reach it. Playing only 270 yards today. He's in the front tee in the front hole location. Great look, Greg, at that bunker on the left. There's no question about it. I'm just wondering, Brad, uh, three was going to be too much for Dustin. Obviously, a driver is, but uh, I wonder if he's got a five or a four in his bag. Well, he's pulled the club out very quickly, Greg. And I think three was going to get him back in the same place that we just saw Grace and Speed come from. See Jason pulling out his driving iron, which is a, a long hitting one iron that he says he hits 280. Yeah, three holes ago, Dustin had a three shot, two shot lead. Now he's one shot back. Yeah, yeah Brad, this is a one iron for Jason. He has a one iron and a four wood in his back. I don't think he feels like he can get the four wood all the way up there. So he can maybe hit this one iron off to the right there use the slope. Been eight eagles here today. Stroke average 3.34 by far the easiest hole. seen this happen too many times. Go all the way back down to the drain about 30 or 40 yards. But no, he got lucky. Not a bad place. Now Dustin. Yeah, one minute, three, two, two or three holes ago, he was the leader. Now he's he's in the chase. Looks like a hybrid. Yeah, he changed. He has a long two iron there. That was a good change for him. He's going to get a big kick left, though. Oh, he did. He got lucky. It came out of the fescue. It's got some speed. Is it up high enough? Yeah, I think that was a good change of clubs for DJ. I, it's always better to hit something full and hard, especially under pressure. Yeah, he could probably putt that one. Let's go up to the next hole to 13. Jordan Spieth off the tee. Brandon Grace. Hardy in the fairway. Yeah. Swing there by Jordan, 529 yards today, 13. Why 
widest fairway in open history, over 100 yards wide. At the moment, the guys in that group. Spieth and Grace leading at five under par. Johnson right behind. Spieth now his second at 13. It's a six under. Go. Green sits 10 yards above the guys. Tends to be very firm now back at 12. Dustin Johnson with the putter. Look like he's aiming right, right, Brad. Go, go, go. That's the phone to go. This looks okay. Go. Yeah, good play. That was from almost 100 feet, 92, point, uh, 92 feet, 8 inches. Back to the 18th. And this is Schwartzel for birdie. To get to two under, and he's got it. A round of 66. So four under today, two under for the championship. Three shots off the lead at the moment. Now Jason Day at 12. And he was watching intently right next to Dustin Johnson's ball. He certainly got a good read off of that, Brad. And he got a good read off of the speed, most importantly. This was Brandon Grace's second shot. Ooh, it looked like he got way stuck on that one. Yeah, big miss to the right, Greg. See that nearly 20 feet high. Hilly had to negotiate, but not altogether bad. Leaves himself at least a makeable attempt for par now. The Johnson brothers survey this birdie putt. Get Dustin back in a share of the lead. Been a long time to look at this one, Brad. They, they want to be sure. They, after the last two holes, he needs to make this putt to get back on track here. Corey, a couple chinks in the armor with his wayward shot in the 10. Missed putt, well, wayward iron on 11, really. And, and, they, were, and they were short irons, too. It was a eight iron and nine iron, I believe. And I haven't seen that in the front nine from him. This is six feet, eight inches up the hill, just where you want to be putting from. Very little break from here, Corey. Yeah, let's just, just get the speed right. Oh! If you said it right, Corey, a little more speed, that would have held its line. Now, up to the 13th hole. Jordan Spieth now looking over this 28-footer for birdie. And Steve, this should be coming just down the hill. It comes over a little rise and then should just fall slightly to the right. Yeah, Jordan held the lead yesterday. It's minus seven for the championship through eight holes. Didn't struggled a bit on his back nine, but He's regained a share of the lead now. Back at 12. Day for birdie. Nice stretch yesterday from this point. Yes! Oh. 
That broke a lot. You could see his face was aimed to the right, too, there. The frustration of Chambers Bay's greens get to everybody. Nobody's exempt from that this week. Again, look, you can see that's, that face is aimed out to the right. Looked like a good stroke. More players brush the grass in frustration afterwards. Put their hands up like, well, how did it do that? Brad, when you putted on greens, you know, you're a little bit inconsistent. How, did you use the loftier putter, or did you try to de-loft it and hit it into the ground and get it going? I know what I did. I got it up. I used loft. Yeah, I was the same way. I used a three-degree, three-and-a-half-degree loft of my putter, and I used every bit of it. Corey? Steve? Yeah, getting the ball up in the air is definitely the way you want to do it. you got to get that ball up and rolling. If you hit down on it, it'll start really bouncing high, especially off. So a good save there by Brandon Grace. That was phenomenal from down there below the green on 13. Greens remind me a lot of what we play on at Pebble Beach, and I always try to use more loft to get the ball up on the top of that Poana grass. Well, we're 100% so far. You, Scotty Mack, what would you do, and Julie? I always try to hit down on it. I guess that's why I'm talking about golf and not playing right now. <laughs> hit up on it. I hit up on it. That's I grew up on POA, so I, that's, that's my specialty. Those, uh, those Bermuda greens drive me to drink. See Jason Day now. Good balance swing. As I said earlier, big wide fairway here at 13. If you take it up the right side, you can really straighten out this 530 yard hole. DJ going up the right side too, 320 to the right hand bunker. A lot of divots down there, big collection area. And while we get a moment, we'll tell you if you can't make it up here to beautiful Chambers Bay to shop the jaw-dropping merchandise pavilion, view the entire collection of official U.S. Open merchandise online at usopen.com. Well, it's getting harder and harder to putt out here as this championship comes to an end potentially here today or will it continue on to tomorrow which way is this thing going to bounce not the ball this championship we're about to find out and now live at 14 brandon grace beautiful 519 yards Beauty. Uh, Downhill par four. Got to carry it over that ledge where that, that great long, graphic yeah. shows you. Grace with an amazing par back on 13. What an up and down. Yeah. Played practice rounds this week with Ernie Els, the South African. He went to his foundation school where you learned to play golf. Luce Tazen, Schwarzel, other South Africans on the board as well. Yesterday. Yeah, good, job. Uh, good concentration there. Guys, who used to 
Trout in the bunker. Oh, just a beautiful looking pitch. What a swing there. And what a shot. Away. <laughs> For a birdie. He stays and joins the club under par. With fe fellow Australian Cameron Smith at one under. He doesn't even look happy. I drive it in the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear that ball roll in the hole. We could also hear Jordan Speed say that last drive was the hardest he's ever hit a ball. It looked like it. On 13. Now Dustin Johnson second. It's 72 yards up the hill. You can hear that ball hit the green. They're so firm right now. Aerial coverage provided by Goodyear consistently atop the leaderboard of superior performing tires. Goodyear. More driven. Jason Day's third shot now. Had a big problem here. He had a nine iron for a second shot. Left it short, it came down this big hill and then rolled into the rough. He's got to choose here to either hit it against the hill, which is very steep, and try to kill it that way. If he hits a high one, there's no way he can stop it near the hole. So he's got to make a choice here. It looks like he's going to try to hit it into the hill here. Well, we saw Brandon Grace just in the group ahead putted up this slope, but he's forced to chip it since he's in that fescue rough. This pretty hard into the slope. So steep. It sounded like he caught all of it. Not gonna make it. I bet the next one will be used to putter. Yeah, I would think so. I think he'd go with putter now, which he does have out. Yeah, and you can see in that slow motion action there, he just caught the grass maybe three or four inches behind the ball, and then the ball a little bit high on the blade. Yeah, hey, Greg, those are shots that you've got to hit steeply down on, and drive them into that hill. This is no easy task here. on the PGA Tour face very often. Look, it's trying to lie, lay down. Yeah. Now. But we want to carry this what? 25? Yep. All right? Yep. There, there's definitely a little bit of hurt. It's a 25 shot, correct? Yep. We want to carry it six short, it should stop. Yeah. And you're just taking dead aim. Yeah. Just touch right, it's fine. All right, visualize that. affirmations for him. So good. Give him positive thoughts. Brand is just a pitching one. It's just a little bit back into the breeze. And with those positive thoughts from Michael Greller, his caddy, who was a caddy here back when this place opened, a teacher in the area, worked here during the summer to make some extra money. 
eventually found his way to the bag of Jordan Spieth. He's been a great calming influence. He's now a full time caddy. So important in the career of Jordan Spieth already and now Dustin Johnson at 13. It's just under 40 feet very quick down the hill. Oh, he's left himself significantly short of the hole there. Misjudged the pace. Great second shot from 115. I just want to take back who used to taste in South Africa. All my neighbors at Old Palm would get mad at me because they're sitting there watching him and Brandon. <laughs> Two leaders showing some Motsi down the stretch. Grace birdied this hole in round one, and Speed birdied in round two. And better stop talking because the ball's still rolling. <laughs> Got a chance, though. Back to the 13th. Big putt now for Jason Day. Valiant effort, showed a lot of courage, resiliency, and obviously showed an extremely good golf too. But that one may have just knocked him out of the championship. Up to 15. Who stays it with a nine iron from 158? And it's going to hold up there, Joe. You talk about an important, important part here. This is a big one. It's a little bit of that stroke we've seen a couple times this week, Greg. Just kind of a wipe holds the face open. It's just a big push. He's got a regroup now. Three bogeys the last four holes. He's got the firepower. You know, the last four holes, he can do a lot of damage with that firepower. So he's got to just shrug that off. And we go to 15 and watch Cameron Smith. We saw a lot of Patrick Reed yesterday wearing green, not red today, and his frustrating round yesterday as he hopes to not step in a putting line. Back to knock this in, uh, another tough day for Reed. Grace for Birdie. Go. Yep. 
about that. Well, he's got to make a birdie now. Just a little wedge here, 114. And it's going to run down to where Grace had his birdie putt from. Not a good shot. Up to 50. We will be commercial free the rest of the way. Follow these guys in. Yes. Took his stance there, Joe, and his left toe touched the T marker. As long as the ball's inside the T marker, he's okay. All right, too close to the thing. Paint that picture.
wasn't too bad a shot either. He was like, there he says, that was, that was only 10 inches away from being absolutely stony. 16T now. We'll use Tazen. Easily reachable for Louis today. <laughs> 337 yards, and Louis hit that about 315. Right in the center of the green. Back over to 14 green. Now let's take a look here at Dustin Johnson and some of the putts that he's. This is terrible. Good effort. 11 for par after missing the green to the left. Another lip out. 12 for Bird, six feet. And he missed one on 13, and now he ranks 159th on the tour, under six feet. 37 footer. You gotta use that slope left of the flag. That putt to get up to two under. Back to speed. Boy, this, is a, this is a really tough one to, to judge. He's gonna come off that right shoulder. Probably just right where Michael's head is. That's about the line. I keep going up on the shoulder there. And that is really quick coming down there from right to left. It's got to come up over here, doesn't it? Shots are just long, longer than four feet for par. Got that one. That was huge. Remains two back. Sacks 
same line as Justin's. Catches the edge. Two good two putts. Back up to 15. And this for the lead. As you look at the caddy for Brandon Grace, Zach Rosego. The caddy for Louis Uste is in at the 2010 British Open. Speaking of Boost Hazen, this is for Eagle at 16. Yeah, tough putt here for Louie up over a big knob and down to the hole. You see it gather speed there around the hole. Now he's got five feet left for his birdie, but on a good run. In a big bid for the championship. I do. Yep. 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 with a tap in as we've said all week there is nothing in the category of a gimme out here right now just to stay five under and tied for the lead African. Good way to putt. It's like look, looking at the rim when you shoot free throws. Look at your target. At the 20th birdie of the day at 16. Back at 15 now. Dustin Johnson. He needs to make something happen here. One over for the day. Short. Sounded really heavy. Where'd that go? From the motor? Let's go up to 16. Yeah. Well, just 337 yards. 16's been reachable for just about everyone today. Not really. The flagstick is hanging dead limp. No movement at all. Water is hardly moving on the Puget Sound to the west. Off the right. It's just so fast and firm that. What? I think I think I 
een duiger slaan. Nee, ja. dat slaat niet in de banken recht. Dat is wel raar. Dat is wel 300 meter. Dat is wel 300 meter. Zie je dat? Just one eagle so far today here. That was Ernie Els. Quiet, please. Out of the right hand Thank you. bunker. Greenside bunker. Let's go, Zach. Looking like he was trying to hit it so hard. All right, take a good picture. Got to erase the sight of that now. Jordan Speed to get a good picture, like his caddy Michael Griller says. to just settle right there. Okay, that is much better than getting down into the rough, and especially the bunker. David Fay is our rules expert up here in the 18th tower with us. Talk to us about that tee shot from Brandon Grace. It's out of bounds. The black uh, chain link fence is uh, the boundary. That's well beyond it. So puts another ball in play, hitting three. Then, then you see the ball up against is a second fence. There's another one closer to the golf course that he is across. against that chain link fence. This week trying to become the fourth South African to win the U.S. Open. Also get his first PGA Tour win and have it happen here at the U.S. Open. But he is hitting his third shot. It's that black chain link fence which is the boundary. That green meshing is well out of bounds. Get lucky. This one much better. The left hand side. Just to settle. It's nothing to hold on to that ball. Okay. Lies three. While that was happening at 16, here's Dustin Johnson at the par three, 15th out of the bunker. Yeah, no statement. Trying to hang in there right now. Two shots off the lead. Gordon Spieth in 
decent position at 16. This was earlier. Who's Tazen? Three birdies here today. It's a good play using that bank to bring it over. Chance to get to four under. Well, every putt's an important part of this stage of the championship, but this one for Dustin's. Agree, Greg. I think he's got to make this putt. It's a little uphill, a little right to left. Make a nice, solid stroke here. Keep his head down. Knock this one in. Sixth birdie in a row. You need to birdie the last. Well, maybe no, I'm yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're getting the clubs on this one. That's out of the cones if you're walking, please. in case. As you go back and take a look at his swing, good setup. He's been driving the ball well all day. He's using the three with there. He's probably trying to put a little bit extra into it. Wind out of the right and see how his lower body off his right foot too early. Lower body spun out and he's just trying to play catch up with his right hand, but he obviously didn't do that. Club pace was open. Come into that spot. Right to right. Yeah. Gonna keep on drifting this right, correct? Yeah, correct. Just right. gonna keep moving right. Yep, correct. Yeah, of course, little angle here for Jordan. And Steve Jordan's ball is just past a sprinkler head, but he's gonna leave it there because it's got such a good line. Got it all! Check up on him. Just a little too, the ball a little too cleanly. This week. Come on. Oh, you gotta be joking, man. Huh? are so firm, you can never imagine it would stop that quickly. Not much grass between the club and the ball there, and that's why it checked up. Position. Talking about speed, he can two putt for par. Long birdie try. Here's Grace. This long putt for par. 
know, and Joe, not the end of the world if he could just salvage a bogey out of this. Only be maybe one back going in to 17, but tall order now. 18T. A string of five birdies in a row ended at 17. And now the par five, 18th. Sit down. Sit. And Wu stays in will indeed find the bunker. And have to make four the hard way. Up at the green here at 18, here's Snedeker for birdie. Took a peek in there too, Joe, didn't he? He just. Had his chances. Door shuts on Snedeker. Speed now with his long birdie try. Take the first two majors of the year. Brandon Grace now must make. Oh, oh, oh. All of a sudden, the lead is three. I'm actually speechless, you know. I'm sitting here thinking about it. He hasn't made a putt all day, and yet when, he, when the pressure's on at the biggest moment, he steps up and just absolutely beautiful. You watch Dustin needing a Ooh. big finish now. 3.37 with a driving iron, Greg. Like it was going to stop, and then it just decided gravity had to take over. Steve, I was kind of surprised he didn't get out, get up there and hit a three wood. Try to just knock it on the front part of the green. That was an awful long driving iron to get up there. Over at 17 now. Jordan Spieth. That picture. This is six iron, guys. This is headed well right. Catch the ball. That looks like Grace's swing off the last tee. Do you think there's a little bit of nerves out there, Brad? 
Well, I was just about to say, nobody looks less nervous than Jordan Spieth, but easily the worst swing of the day. And that is in a place where he's going to have to get very lucky to get him down, but he can use that hillside on the other side of the green to bring it back to him a little bit. Brad, they can't even find it yet. And I mean, he's got to be aiming 30, 40 feet left of this whole location. And that's the biggest miss I've seen in Jordan in four days. Brad Grace. Can he rebound somehow? It's also a six iron, Brad. Say hit that slope. Watch this now. No, it stayed on the level. Jordan Speed will make his way down 17 as they try to find that golf ball as he leads by three with a win, looking to become the youngest to win two career majors since Gene Sarazen in 1922. Be the youngest U.S. Open champion since Bob Jones in 1923. And be the sixth player to win the Masters in the U.S. Open in the same year. The last was Tiger Woods in 2002. They are here. And I'm sure more nervous now than they've been all day. <laughs> no question. So Joe and Greg, when he made that putt for birdie back on 16, the entire bleachers here on the 17th tee stood up and cheered, and you could hear yells for Spieth. You also heard the USA chant. International players have won eight of the last 11 U.S. Opens. But they are firmly behind the 21-year-old Texan who at the moment leads by three. Yep, exactly. Go over to 18. Who's Tazen? Second shot. From out of the bunker. Pick the clean. Just to lay up there. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Where's the break? Right now, three under par for the championship. Desperately needing a birdie. That's pretty. Hey, you have to watch the shadow. Can, can we move this? The shadow's right here. Thank you. Michael Griller asking Marshalls to move some of the shadows away from where Jordan's ball is lying. Scotty, did you get a chance to look at the lie? I did. I went right up to it, and it is a nasty lie. He really can't go at this flagstick, Rex. It's all a downslope going that way. I think he's going to be looking out to the left, maybe. Almost where Brandon Grace is standing right now, I'm trying to use the backstop. There's just no way to go at this. Is it a grassy lie, or is it sandy underneath it? No, it's not sandy underneath it, but he's got uh, some leads right in front of him. It's going to be very Brendan. difficult to control the Brendan. speed. Brendan. Back to the 16th now. Dustin Johnson out of that right hand bunker that, short that, of the green. Caught it cleanly. What a fantastic golf shot here. Needs to make a putt. Number 18 now. Third shot for Louis Oosthuizen. How about a three? This is earlier Cameron Smith, his second shot. And, uh, we've seen plenty of times a lot can happen in this game ago. All the speculation that 18 here 
for the fourth round would play as a par four. It plays as a par five today. And how's that shot? It'll be an eagle for Cameron Smith to move him to three under. How about that finish for the 21 year old? <laughs> And now, after that great bunker shot, this an absolute must. Louie already in at four under. Oh, my goodness. 
it was a little bit uphill, but you've got to give it a chance. Steve, do you think he knows what's going on up front of him? I don't think he knew before he hit that putt what had just transpired. Although there was a big scoreboard right behind him, but it would not have been posted yet. 18-T now. And Grace will be first to play. Brandon Grace is right there, just one shot back. Really important tee shots. Sit down. And, and to the bunker, and how ironic. The microphone's picking up Jordan Speed talking about how this hole really yeah. shouldn't be played as a par four. The cover's not even a problem. Nope, it's not. It's not. All right. so that, it was two days ago. Get that good picture, bud. Where is it? When? Touch off your right. It's not doing much. It's laid down. Okay. And despite speculation that today number 18 would play as a par four, it's a par five. With that reaction behind him, Speed had to back off. Johnson. One back. And that was a six iron right there. Corey, nobody's got close to this hole. Yeah. Right. Right, 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 top of the shoulder of that bunker. Easily the best shot I've seen since I've been sitting here five hours ago. Oh, Brad, the ebbs and flows. I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> There's a TV on in there. Yeah, you go back in there. Yeah. We're trying to talk to Louie in a moment. Mind Games brought to you by American Express. Just when you think you're out of it at a U.S. Open, it's one on the back nine on Sunday, right? Here he is at the 12th tee. That's a great example of just keep doing what you need to do. We've seen it so many times in the past, and we're going to see it so many times in the future. And he's a great example. Sure. Hitting the perfect shot at the right time, and your mind game going to get you going. Third shot here at 14. Had to play out of the bunker, and then this for a 30. And maybe that was a sign of things to come for Louis. 15. Gets up here, a really aggressive putt. Ball is tracking. Dead center, right in the back of the hole. Probably would have gone seven feet by, but who cares? It's in there for two. And now the birdie at 18, tying the lowest score for nine holes with a 29 on the last nine here at Chambers Bay. That's in the history, the 115 year history of the US Open. And it's put him in a tie for the lead. Well, Joe, we said right from the top of the show that 16, 15, 16, 17, 18. And here we got Jason Day, 17th. 
Hits the green short right, trying to pitch it down that hill. Could be showing a line to Dustin, maybe. Let's go up to 18. Jordan Spieth will be first to play. Brandon Grace in front of him. Look at that, Michael. Yeah, 250 adjusted front, 287 hole. 287 hole? Yeah, it's got it down off the right. Definitely off the right. Yeah, I think it's a good club. You get that little backstop there. Yeah, I love it. It's not going to be too much, right, as long as I cut it? Yeah, it's just got to be cut. Because it's an upslope, I like this club. Yep. I agree. It's got to get there, too, you know? Yep. On those towers, it's just got to get over the bunker, I mean. Yeah, I'm just on that right tower is perfect. Okay. All right, come on. Let's picture that one, buddy. 21-year-old young man coming off a double bogey at the par 317. John Deere for his first win. 
Made the bomb at the Valspar Championship in the playoff. That was this year and then ran away with the Masters. A birdie record there at Augusta. Back on the tee, Dustin. He knows he's got to avoid the left hand buckets, the two there, one at 280, 320. Yeah, Greg, he has to hit this right of the second bunker out there with his distance. He can hit a drive in an iron if he hits this in the fairway. This is on a great line. Beautiful drive. This is a stunning drive. That is massive. Right up into that neck. Yeah, that's perfect, Jay. Up ahead, Brandon Grace, third shot. And a must make. <laughs> this will come back. And miss going both ways. And got to give Jordan a really good read if it stops right there. And it won't.
the door is open for Dustin Johnson. to Holly Saunders. Louis, you birdied six of the last seven holes. What else could you do here? You <laughs> shot a 29 in the back nine. Yeah, refs thought. Um, I mean, I had really a tough first four holes. Uh, couldn't find a fairway, couldn't find a green, and they had to make long putts for pars and end up three over through four. So sort of uh, knew it was going to be a, have to be a really big comeback to do something. And, um, you know, um, too many mistakes the first round, I guess. So, I think I can I can definitely find one or two shots out of that 77 right. that I could have done less. But uh, yeah, I just kept on going, um, doing my thing, and a bit more aggressive on the putts uh, the last uh, nine holes, and uh, decided to, you know, go for it or or just um, if, it, if I make a balls up of it, that's one of those things. Louis gutsy performance, well done today. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks. Send it back to you, Joe. Thank you, Holly. Now oh. Jason Day. <laughs> for Jason Day. Ustazen was referencing the 77 round one and 66, 66, 67. Now Dustin Johnson. Five iron for Dustin. Beauty. Good swing.
to wait while Jason Day plays out of that right greenside bunker. What a fight put up by Jason Day. He lost his father Alvin at the age of 12. Working, leaning on Colin Swatton. His caddy and coach and mentor. That's what Dustin Johnson can win and hoist with a made putt. Jason battling vertigo since it hit him on Friday. time to collect himself and you know, Greg that putt that Jason's going to hit is going to help Dustin with the speed of his putt he'll get a good look at it we'll give him a good idea of how much his putt's going to break as well where's Michael what do you want to do looking for his caddy Michael Greller Jordan with the double bogey on the par 317 and a missed putt with the Eagle try at 18. Jason Day, first to go. Just checking too, Joe, because he's going to be. If you know, Dustin's got a really speedy putt down that hill. You notice the uh, Jason's ball roll on by there, good three and a half feet, and he just Jason was checking. He's you know, he's for his for his footprints may be on his through line. That was that was just courtesy and respectful.
exactly why Jason Day asked him what to finish out. Now Johnson's got to make this to force the playoff. Champion, how does it feel? I don't know right now. I, I'm, I'm in shock. Um, wow, that that's. Uh, I watched it with Michael in there, and just wanted a fighting chance tomorrow. And um, I feel feel bad for Dustin. I had that feeling on 17, and just proud of the way that we rebounded on 18. Did you even bring a fifth outfit with you? In case? No, I would have had to. Uh, I'm sure Under Armour would have done something about it. We would have been fine. Well, you don't need it. Congratulations. Thanks, You're going to go talk to Joe on the 18th green. Thank Send it back to you for a sec. All right. Thank you, guys. Yes, we will hear more in depth from Jordan Spieth. And again, I think he's as happy as he is shocked, Greg. Well, I think we can go down the list there, Joe, and say the same thing about the number of people that can be shocked about it. But I tell you what. At the end of the day, we knew it was going to be one heck of a performance today on Chambers Bay. The golf course really gave it up to us. And congratulations to Jordan Spee for tremendous and winning the 115th United States Open Championship. Jordan. Hi, Kevin. Lynch, been here. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Thank you very much. So I think we're hanging out in night school, so now we're going to have a time in my change. 